Apollo, Duke Rufus, and Ron Kruk. Ringside, hope you're enjoying Glory 11 Chicago, wherever you may be watching, as Bear Hooven comes out, stalking Gita, but it's Gita that delivers the first signature blow, that liver kick. Nice right hand. What agility he has to pick his legs up that easy and accuracy. You know, a lot of big guys are good with the low kick, but he picks the body kicks up beautifully. Gita known for his savage low kicks, but has plenty of power, especially in that left hook. And there he goes for the knee, but stumbles and falls. And of course, referee Al Wickers waves off any thought of a knockdown. Counter right hand by Gita. And the crowd really behind the former bodyguard of the Romanian president. Now it's electric here tonight. A lot of Romanian flags flying in the crowd. It's an awesome atmosphere for our first glory here in Chicago. I love it. Just over a minute gone in the opening round. Just below the belt and they touch gloves to show sign of sportsmanship there. As Verhoeven now backing up. Geet up, cornering him, measuring him up. Verhoeven again coming in close, delivers a right hand to the body as they clinch, and referee Al Wickers will break them up. He just got a beautiful counter right. He actually lets you strike at him. He sets a trap so he can hit back to his own right. Nice jab by Gita through the guard. Verhoeven needs a right hand, right uppercut by Gita. Just misses with that left head kick. Outside low kick by Verhoeven. Verhoeven's got to be careful about closing his guard tight because Gita's going to try and flip a punch around it. Gita looking very comfortable, very confident. Body kick by Verhoeven, push kick countered by Gita, and that was just below the belt, so they touch gloves. Good sportsmanship. Two of the very best in the sport showcasing their skills here. In this feature attraction, the final of the Glory four-man heavyweight tournament. Gita's looking the most fluid I've seen him in, in, in his last few fights. He's definitely made a change to his game. That counter right is beautiful. And let's not forget, Gita stopped Anderson Silva early in the round, the opening round of their semifinal bout, while Verhoeven went three rounds with Saki. He keeps going for those hooks around the guard, real smart. Final 30 seconds of the opening frame. Jab by Gita through the guard. Punch kick combo by Verhoeven, lands the right hand. The time between Verhoeven's jab and cross is too too long. That's why Gita is able to counter him. Verhoeven's got to speed up the rotation on his shoulders. Right hand behind the guard by Verhoeven, and then he goes to the body. Great start to this tournament final between Gita and Verhoeven. Round two, straight ahead. Verhoeven isn't intimidated by the greatness of Gita. Gita looks real fresh. Obviously, he only went one round in the, in the first semifinal, so he's got a huge advantage, and he keeps a really good pace. He has very good technique, which helps him conserve his energy. Slight edge for Gita when it comes to arm strikes in that opening round, and when you look at the numbers, they tell a, a point, a partial point of the story, but how did you see the opening round? Uh, I give the first round to Gita. Verhoeven's tough, though, and he's hanging in there. He's very gritty, and he, he's got a chance here as well. I think Verhoeven needs to attack more. He's letting Gita get comfortable. He's got to put Gita on the defensive and, and use his youth to press him. The bell goes, and we are underway with round two, scheduled for three three-minute rounds to determine the Glory Heavyweight Tournament champion. Push kick by Verhoeven, who's in the white gloves, Gita in the black gloves. Inside low kick by Verhoeven, counter body kick by Gita, shelling up. Verhoeven goes to the body with a left hook. There's a nice straight right hand through the guard by Verhoeven. Verhoeven gets stronger as the fight comes on. He gets in there and, and he gets going. He gets better. Nice uppercut. He Left uppercut, right hand by Verhoeven, but Gita comes back with a combination of his own. He's got to be careful not to try and kick the back leg in between with his right leg because he's going to get caught with a right hand over it.
A minute gone in the second round. Body punch by Verhoeven. They are going toe-to-toe -to -toe here in Chicago. This is an impressive pace for heavyweights. I can't believe the pace they're keeping. This is why I don't fight anymore. Right uppercut, left hook combo by Verhoeven. And it seems like Verhoeven is picking up momentum while Gita may be slowing down ever so slightly. Yeah, I see that. He just got to watch it. His chin's popping up, and it's there to be hit. Right hand behind the guard by Verhoeven, now in the clinch, taking a moment to touch his body up. There's a left head kick by Gita that connects. Another left head kick, taking a page out of Mirko Krokop's playbook. His head just got popped back like a pest dispenser with that right uppercut. Yeah, that was a great move. The, the uppercut smart right there while his guard's high come under. Jab by Gita, counter right hand by Verhoeven, who continues to move forward, going into the final 60 seconds of the second round. A much better round for Verhoeven. But Gita stands in the pocket. When Verhoeven makes it a fight, makes it a brawl in a, in a phone booth, he does very well. And the crowd trying to rally Gita with chance of his surname. Gita, pot shotting him there. Right hand, inside low kick by Verhoeven, connects the head kick, blocked by Verhoeven. What a pace here in round two. For sure. Now Gita, he's smart, he's trying to go under that guard with his uppercut. And Gita eating those punches from Verhoeven. Final 20 seconds of the round. Gita needs to tuck that chin. And keep a structured guard and stance as well. He's a little off balance right now. Gita's recorded 38 knockout wins compared to Verhoeven's 10. And we are headed to the third and final round of what has been a tremendous tilt thus far. That's a hard round to score. I mean, I'm, I'm lucky I'm not a judge because it was close. They both had their moments. Gita's doing a great job of hitting the body. It neutralizes Verhoeven's punches when he puts those deep middle kicks in there. And as well, again, he, and he'll, he'll kick a high middle kick, which forces his hands to come up, and it's harder for him to counter. But Verhoeven is durable, man. He came back with that uppercut, and that deep uppercut landed that deep low kick. Well, the numbers in that second round when it comes to total strikes landed don't exactly correlate with what I guess we saw, but Gita with a slight advantage over Verhoeven, according to our strike stats, 54-51, a very competitive affair. Heading into the third round, one round with $250,000 up for grabs, the tournament belt, and all of the glory that comes with the victory. Duke, how do you have it going into the final round? Right now, if I looked at the stats, I'd have it 2-0 uh, Gita, but I, I could... You don't have to look at the stats, though. Yeah. The stats don't always tell the story, right? No, but it, I could see it 1-1, too. I'm, I, like I said, I'm glad I'm not a judge. Yeah. I'm just sitting here enjoying this fight. I'm as excited as everyone else to be here. This is one of the best fights I've ever seen live. You know, if phone booths still existed, I'd say they're fighting in a proverbial phone booth, but right now they are at close quarters, and again, the crowd trying to rally Gita, who's along the ropes, Verhoeven coming forward, attacking the body with the right hand. Gita punching upstairs. Very close indeed, Gita with 94 total strikes, a slight edge over Verhoeven. And referee Al Wickers giving Verhoeven an opportunity here. After uh, another shot just uh, below the belt line. doing a good job of making this a fight. That's what he needs to do. Take Daniel Gita out of his methodical style. Good hot Right punch. uppercut on the inside by Verhoeven. And now with the tie clinch, just pushing Gita back to the ropes. A minute, 45 seconds left. Again, a quarter of a million dollars to the victor. And the spoils of taking the tournament belt. Who wants it more? These two are leaving it all in the glory ring. Verhoeven, but Gita doing the job upstairs, attacking the head. Verhoeven 
been trying to smother Gita, so he doesn't have that room to get the power he gets when he has that room to hit. Constant action, punches and kicks. They're hooping. And Gita with one minute left, and Gita now on his back. Was not ruled a knockdown, however. Less than a minute left here at Glory 11 Chicago. Straight right hand through the guide by Verhoeven. The push kick by Verhoeven. The crowd anticipating the end of the bout. Wanting to rally behind their favorite, Daniel Gita. But Rico Verhoeven is giving them everything he can handle. For sure. I mean, his style of just coming forward and smothering, it's working. Final 30 seconds of the fight. Left hook by Verhoeven. Left kick by Gita. Right uppercut by Verhoeven. With 15 seconds left, we're going to let the crowd here in Chicago take you to the final battle of the Glory Four Man Heavyweight Tournament Final. What a fight! What a night in the Windy City! I think we just saw the Bonner Griffin, the Gotti Ward of Glory Kickboxing tonight here. These fans are electric. What a show these guys put on. And I know you're not a judge, but I gotta put you on the hot seat. Who will walk away with the money, the belt, and the prestige? Will it be the Savage Samurai, Daniel Gita, or the young upstart, the Prince of Kickboxing, Rico Verhoeven? Will he indeed become the king of the ring here tonight? I think the Cinderella man, Ver Verhoeven, he turned the, the pace and tie to the fight. I think the Cinderella man's gonna walk away with the belt and the check tonight. Well, the punches landed in round three seem to agree with you as Verhoeven landed 48 punches compared to Gita's 21 as they embrace a part of history here in Chicago. World-class kickboxing on display. A tremendous night of action and what a way to put the cap on it with a thrilling final between two of the very best in the sport. So the last 20 seconds of the round, tooth and nail, fighting for the money, the title, the glory, to be the champion. Look at this heart and courage. Daniel Gita, 24-year-old Rico Verhoeven, will the prince become the king? We are about to find out. Who knows? We may even see another round of action. As we know in this tournament, in glory, if it's a draw after three rounds, an extra sudden victory round will be contested. I know everybody here in Chicago wouldn't mind that. Yeah, definitely an encore. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout goes the distance and we send it to the judges' scorecard. All three judges, Judge D'Amato, Judge Kester, Judge Smith, score the bout 29-28, a unanimous decision for your winner. And now, Glory Heavyweight Tournament World Champion, Rico The 24-year-old prince of kickboxing, Rico Verhoeven, has done it. The Champion. We hope you've enjoyed